Happy Monday movie review. Today, we're gonna have a knockout. I saw two movies this weekend, so we're gonna see how they match up against each other. Trolls and Doctor Strange. So first we have a minion style movie about trolls. You know, the cute little ones with the wacky hair. These beings are super, super extremely happy and their only enemy is the Bergen, which is the complete opposite. Super, super depressed, never sings or dance or anything. So the trolls are are led by Princess Poppy, who of course, voiced by Anna Kendrick. She and her sort of friend, the Grumpy Troll Branch, voiced by none other than Justin Timberlake, go off on an adventure to try to save their friends from the Bergens. And second, we have a movie of Doctor Strange, who's a renowned neurosurgeon who definitely has an ego to show for it, goes through a tragic accident and goes on a journey to try to get his healing hand saved, but ends up getting in the middle of a war of the mystical dimensional realms. Two completely different movies for completely different tastes. Trolls was hilarious. It had tons of music, dancing, and lots of fun and light. It had good messages and things like that. Doctor Strange definitely had a lot of hilarity. Come on, it's Marvel. But definitely was darker and dealt with more philosophical, spiritual types of themes. For parent hat time, both movies definitely have some interesting things to teach kids. Trolls is good for all ages. I was seeing little kids dancing in the aisles and laughing and singing and just having a good time. Doctor Strange definitely is the fight of good versus evil. Also teaches we all have a purpose and sometimes life changes and sometimes our real purpose is revealed in a different way than we had expected. I think the best part about what Doctor Strange can teach you is that that science can only take you so far that you have to then rely on faith. Which I think is a very powerful message to convey to anyone. So the poop and the brownies for trolls, the only thing that I would warn, there are a couple innuendos. They were kind of hidden to the point where I thought, is my mind just really dirty? Because kids would never get it, trust me, very slight. I think they threw them in there so that parents would enjoy the movie too. And Doctor Strange, the very beginning, there's his accident and them working on his hands. Me and my mom kind of like covered our eyes, it was a little gross. And of course there are talks that go into mysticism, using the third eye, and just a little bits of things that might offend some Judeo-Christian theology. I don't feel like this movie like pointed to one religion. It just acknowledged that you needed faith. It didn't say what faith, that to get on a higher plane of understanding, you have to have faith. I actually thought it was good, but you know, some people might find the way they go about doing it might find it offensive because they do talk about it that it could be construed as magic or it could, could be construed as coding. They never really are specific on what anything actually is. For Doctor Strange with age range, I would say probably at least 10, if not a little bit older, depending on how you want to finagle that. Just the beginning with some of the medical stuff. It's not too gory. I just had like, I can't watch it. There are fighting scenes. There's a big, scary, big bad, you know, so it might be a little intense. Wasn't too intense for me, but younger kids might be a little bit much. Don't forget to wait until after the credits. There's a scene. I think the hunk of all of the movies, Benedict Cumberbatch, Come on, he's the definite winner because while well, trolls are trolls, I can have a crush on Benedict Cumberbatch. So all in all, both movies I enjoyed. I think I had a little bit more fun with Trolls only because of the music and I'm a huge music fan. There was a lot of music to sing to, but Doctor Strange definitely was a lot of fun. It had funny moments and a really good storyline. I think it's a pretty good movie. That's all I have for you today. Feel free to comment below what you think of either of these movies. Or if there's a movie that you would like me to review, feel free to comment below as well. And I would love to hear your thoughts and I'd love to review it for you. Subscribe, like, do all the things. Hope to see you back next Monday. Bye. Bow, bow. Oh,